In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect and set up your brand new fourth generation Apple TV. Now to get going, you need a minimum of two cables. Unfortunately, only one comes supplied and that's this. This is the power cable. So we're going to connect this up and it's quite firm. So you have to push it in. You'll feel a slight click. There we go. And that's when you know that you're in. The second cable which you definitely need is the HDMI cable and one isn't supplied with it. So what I'll do is I'll put a few links in the description below for some good uh, HDMI cables. Now I just use an Amazon Basics one, shock horror, arch enemy, and that just connects in at the back. Now there is a third cable you may want to use and that's this one here. Um, now this the fourth generation Apple TV comes with Wi-Fi and it is good a good Wi-Fi connection. However, some people prefer to connect via Ethernet and that's exactly what this is and that's what I'll be doing because I do stream movies across uh, my local network and I'm probably going to use the Plex app of this. So if that's something you want to do, you may want to consider use, using Ethernet. But for most people, the inbuilt Wi-Fi will be absolutely fine. So the other end of the HDMI goes into the back of your television and obviously the power cable needs to be plugged into a socket. Okay, now I've connected it to my TV. Now I apologize for the flickering screen. I'm filming this with my iPhone at the moment. So let's talk you through the setup process. The first thing it's asking you to do is to pick a language. And as you can see, uh, it's telling you to use the remote, swipe down using the trackpad, which I have right here. Um, and we're gonna pick a language. It's quite responsive. Actually, that's, this trackpad's wicked. Okay, cool, right. So I'm going to pick English UK because, yep, I'm British. Select your country. Now you have two options here when you're going to set up your Apple TV. You can set it up with a device or you can set it up manually. Um, if you set it up with a device, all you need to do is hold your iPhone next to the Apple TV and they connect either via the NFC chip or via Bluetooth, I'm not too sure which, but it will just basically set up your Wi-Fi, your iCloud account, and you're ready to go. Now I'm gonna set it up manually so I can talk you through the setup process. So I'm gonna choose that one. And then it'll ask you to set up your Wi-Fi network. So I'm just gonna choose mine and skip through the next bit. Okay, so I'm now connected to my Wi-Fi network. And the next stage is it will ask you for your Apple ID. After you've logged in with your Apple ID, it will then ask you to enable or disable location services, which I will enable. It'll ask you if you want to use Siri. And then it talks you through the wonderful aerial screensavers, which uh, if you've seen the previews of at the Apple keynote, you know they're absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna to set to automatically download. And I have no problem sending diagnostic and usage data to Apple, but you can of course say that you don't want to. You then asked if you want to share app analytics with developers, again, it's. It's not it's something that I don't mind, but you have the option of opting out. Then you've got various terms and conditions, blah, 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 blah. And then you hit agree. And that's it. So that's how you plug in and set up the Apple TV fourth generation. If you found this video useful, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with another video.